Hello everyone, Tim again, Tim's Computer Fix.net. Fairly old system here. It's got a 1070 for the win. That was a good card back in the day. Anyways, very peculiar thing that this computer is doing. I'm going to power it on here. We get a post beat. We get a nice post there. And we get a normal Windows load going on here. This has an SSD buried deep down here. And it's got a regular mechanical one terabyte drive. And as you can see here, we get a, a normal post to the load screen. And we also get uh, the sign in here. Got the sign in ready to go. Okay. And we're going to sign in. And uh, everything is looking, you know, quite normal here. You can open up Windows. Any type of Windows you want. Browse around. File Explorer works fine. Pretty much browse around anywhere you want to. Everything is pretty darn quick. The internet. Everything else. Just messing around. You know, there you go. Any, anything you want to um, search for comes right up. Here's my site. So, so you know, the computer's fast, quick, it's doing just fine. Let's go to, I installed HW Monitor on here earlier. Let's go ahead and open that up. Run that. See what we got here. Oh! Just rebooted out of nowhere. Now it wasn't because I opened HW Monitor. It wants to go to disk check. We'll skip that. Crash. See? Just it just crashed again. That was just sitting on the load screen. So, definitely have something going on. I want to show you guys real quick. Uh, I want to show you guys real quick HW Info so we can have a quick look at temperatures and everything. So let me get logged into that. Got to be kind of quick because it it wants to it wants to keep crashing. So we'll open up HW Info here. Real quick, we got a Core i7, a 8700K here. We'll go to 8700 sensors. We'll scroll down to have a look at the temperatures. Uh, yeah, 77C, 75, it's still loading. 75C isn't bad. So that's, it's not thermal throttling, it's not crashing because of heat. We can see there. CPU, once again, is that about 78? It'll get cooler as we sit here. 82 is the hottest it got. It's going to crash here in a second. It's going to go right out. So this is what it's doing. Uh, yep, and Samsung SSD. Da da da. GPR, GeForce GTX 1070 for the win. So, um. So it looks like, uh, let's see, memory, how about that? Memory has got 16 gigs. DDR4, 1700 megahertz. So, you know, I get the feeling that uh, it may be blue screening. Possibly. This isn't going to give me enough time to download 
blue screen view watch. I probably should just uh, put on a flash drive. See, up oh, just crashed. Comes out of nowhere, randomly crashing. Interesting. Yeah, not sure. Um, it's got a really kind of a subpar power supply, but it's Cooler Master 500. I guess that's not bad. Um, so you know, with this with this crashing and all, uh, what I what I'm probably going to do, um, I want to target the the RAM. I want to see if we're having perhaps a RAM problem. So <clears throat> let me. Now, I don't think it's a power issue. I doubt it. Um, I don't think it's a graphics card issue. Our graphics are fine, right? I mean, it's booting off the SSD. You know, I really doubt that that's an issue. But I, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Let me um, let me load up some testing software for the drives, and let's just confirm that next, okay? Okay, let's see if I can catch this real quick before it crashes again. This is clear disk info. There we are, they're green. Nothing wrong with the disks. Let's, let's do blue screen view. See if we can catch that before it crashes here. Nothing. There's nothing in the mini dump of, of blue screening either. So there's nothing there. No blue screen logs either. Uh, we, you know, we can go in and check. Um, go in and check uh, administrative tools or whatever. But I don't know, man. The way this is crashing like this. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to go in and, and target the memory here. I'm going to, um, what we want to try to do is start pulling parts and trying to make the crashes either change or somehow change, either stop or get more or less or whatever, just to give us a hint about what might be going on here. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to shut this down and... I'm gonna, whoop, they don't have to, it just shut itself down. How about that? Yep. All right, I'm gonna shut this down and we're gonna pull a stick of RAM. Okay, so we got it fired up with one stick of RAM going in here. Okay, we're loading up. So far, so good, but it usually takes a little while. Let's just goof around here a bit. Open up some more HW info here. Just to see what happens. It, you know, it runs so good otherwise. It just reeks of a RAM issue to me. But at least, you know, sometimes they usually at least get a, a, a blue screen or something. Uh, some kind of a blue screen error or whatever. This is just flat out cutting out altogether. I'm gonna rule out RAM right here. So if it still does it with this uh, one RAM stick, I'll I'll just try the other one, and we'll see if that makes a difference. Crash. So we know it's not that. Let's check the other RAM stick. Okay. We'll take out this one RAM stick here. This is an older computer, isn't it? Click, click. Plug it in. Fire it up. Here we 
go. Loading up. See if we can go back into. Uh, this is with the other stick of RAM here. Oh, wow, we've got all kinds of stuff. You can tell he's done all sorts of things in here. Hmm, somebody's been in here. Stop. Administrator tools. Event viewer. 317, that's today. Kernel power. Event 41. Critical. 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 Kernel power. How about that? The system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down first is about all that says. This error could be caused by system stop responding, crashed, or lost power unexpectedly. And that's about all that's going to give you, man. I mean, it's not telling us something we don't already know. Application. Music.ui, current default engine, I don't know. Here it goes. Okay, it crashed again. It's not RAM. So, you know, with kernel power errors in Event Viewer, that makes me lean a little bit more towards this. This power supply. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to hook up my test power supply to this machine. And we're going to see. You know, here's another good question. Does it do it while we're, say, in BIOS? Let's test that now. And that will tell us if it's, a, you know, if it's, if it's crashing or got anything to do with software, right? That'll, that'll pretty much eliminate that. So let's fire this up and go to the BIOS. Let's just forget about Windows altogether, shall we? All right. Let's wait and see if we crash. Uh, still could very well mean you got a failing piece of hardware. So that's very interesting. So I'm going to hold off on the power supply swap here. Hmm. Don't know. Interesting. You know? I don't know. Uh, you know? What I might do is, is uh, pop another drive in here. And load Windows on it, and just see just see how well we're doing. It keeps wanting to do a check disk, if you notice. And there was one time right before it crashed before. I don't know if my camera was on it, but it popped up here and it said that um, click uh, click here to scan drive for errors or something like that. So I don't know. You know, possibly the SSD is going, even though the tools didn't flag it. Uh, so let's try that now. Um, I think that's where I'm going to go next with this. I'm going to install, I'm going to put the uh, other RAM stick back in here. I'm going to take out the SSD. I'm going to disconnect this all together. I'm going to take out this SSD and I'm going to pop in another test SSD and load Windows on it to see if it, see if it loads okay. Um, yeah, he does have data on this drive, so, you know, we'll keep that in mind too, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's give that a go. Very rare have I seen a bad or a failing SSD just cause the system to completely just sporadically reboot like that. But I guess anything's possible. So here we go. I'm going to get this installed on this test SSD and check it all out.
All right, we're rebooting after an install. So let's see how this does. I mean, it's looking like this is going to go through and be and be pretty darn stable. So honestly, I really, again, I'm going to reiterate, I really doubt, I really doubt that it's a, some sort of a driver issue or an up, Windows update issue or anything. Um, this is, you know, like I say, no blue screens at all. It just instantly shuts off and reboots, um, you know. So I, I guess, you know, I can test that theory by, um, I don't know, it's so tough. You know, I guess what I'm going to try to do is get the data off of this drive. Get the data off of this drive because he needs it, then I'll wipe it and reinstall Windows on this. Really difficult to troubleshoot this when it just keeps sh shutting off randomly like that. It's hard for me to even you know, do anything. Um, I guess I maybe could have tried safe mode, but then again, I'm racing against time because it could crash. And I don't want anything to go wrong really with the, uh, the file system on this because he needs his data. So just to be safe about this, I'm going to try to pull the data off of this drive and I'm going to wipe it and put Windows on here and we'll see how that works. And once again, Windows is loaded up on this test drive and everything is uh, looking, looking perfect here. So let's, um, let me go ahead and see if I can get data off this other drive here and go from there. All right, everyone. So I've got new Windows installed here on his original drive. Everything's stable. Nothing wrong with the drive itself. Now, listen, before I did install a fresh thing of Windows, I did try to go into safe mode to see if I can disable anything that was running in the background. Uh, but it failed to let me into safe mode. So, uh, hands were kind of tied as far as maybe trying to pinpoint the exact problem. Plus, he needed his computer back pretty quickly. So, I was really against a bit of time. But I figured I would just take you guys along for the ride. Uh, very interesting scenario with this computer. Some uh, funny stuff going on there with that uh, rebooting and all that. But anyways, guys, um, th that'll do it for this one. See you next time. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.